using spelling and grammar and the thesaurus in Word 2013. This feature is pretty much uh, simple and easy to use. However, there might be cases where some of you might find a couple of those things helpful. So I'll try to keep it short. So basically, as we, we know that as we type something, it gets highlighted if we mistype something it gets highlighted you can right click and choose to correct it and that type of thing so that's pretty self-explanatory of course for any document that you're going to submit for a final project or a final proposal or whatever it may be it is highly suggested that you go under the review tab and they do a complete spell and grammar check and you can go one after the other here. So for example, it says directly, and we can say we want to change it, and then typed, and so on, and make all the changes that you need. So it gives you also information here as to how to use this stuff, and for the grammar as well. So that's one option. The other thing that you can utilize here is the thesaurus option. And the thesaurus option is whenever you're writing a paper or writing something and in your mind you're thinking what's another word for that and your roommate or a friend or whoever is not close by and of course nowadays you can get on google plus or you can get on hangouts or post a question somewhere but it's easier to simply right click on a word and then you can go under synonyms and you can get exactly different variations or synonyms of that word that you can utilize in your writing. So uh, this is basically for utilizing it for choosing the right word that I'm not able to find myself right now, but uh, choosing the right word by simply going under synonyms and finding the right words to use. Or if you're not sure what a word means, you can also click on the thesaurus here and it will pull it up automatically. Now, in some cases, you may also need to sign into your Microsoft account if you're using Word 2013 instead of Word 365. And that's about it, basically, as far as the grammar and the thesaurus and some of those tools here in the review tab. Next is the various under the view here. You can choose to view different, to change the viewing for your document. So for example, you can change into the reading mode. The reading mode, it makes the document a little bit more readable. You can find, you can research stuff. So it's designed so that this will be more readable for reading student papers or your project or for reading your proposal to avoid any spelling or any issues with it as far as content. Unfortunately, I do not think you can change stuff from here. It would, however, be nice to be able to change stuff. So you can't change anything from the view mode. To return to the regular mode, you just click on Edit Document, and that will bring you back to the regular mode. The other thing you can do is you can display the ruler on the top here. Notice now that we have the ruler. And you can also display grid lines if needed. The navigation pane as well, you could customize it. That's basically how we define the different styles and the different headings if you needed it. The zooming. You can change the bottom right or here under the zoom options and then viewing it multiple pages or page width and so on. So you can just change it however you need. Then uh, you can also split the windows so you can view two documents in two separate windows. So one on top and one on the bottom. This is more for comparing, or if you're building a new proposal or a new document based on an older one. However, nowadays, this feature probably is replaced by using multiple monitors, which makes it a lot easier. So it's probably not as useful and as much needed anymore. 
And that should conclude those final aspects on using Word. Again, if you see the progression of the document, you start in the Home tab with using the basic functionality. You go on the Insert tab by inserting all kinds of additional components to enrich your paper. Then you go and change the design of the paper or your project. Go and change the page layout, add references such as table of contents, footnotes, and notes, headers, footers create mailings and so on. In some cases, you might use the same document, in some cases not. And then you go into the review and viewing final stuff for basically just making it easier for you to view the content. So that's it for this session.